So it seemed like a lot of you guys liked my last snare drum tuning video, so I thought I'd just do another one about a project I'm doing right now. I've got this old uh, pearl snare drum, it's a metal snare drum, and it's sort of like oxidized and has a little bit of a patina on it and such. Um, so I'm going to be trying to polish it up a bit and I thought I'd just uh, show you guys how I do it. So this is the current state of the drum. Um, it, it's not too bad actually. Um, I just know I can make it better. So I'm going to do that. So the very first thing is to of course remove all the hardware pieces. Kind of got this head already loosened up a bit. So here's the bottom head. Take the head off. So then just start to work on the top head and get all those bolts undone. Ah, the head won't come off, it's stuck. Ah, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, now that both of the rims are off, I'm going to start going around and taking off all these hardware pieces. Usually inside the drums, you'll have a couple different types of mounting screws. So I recommend having containers just to keep them separate so you don't lose anything. And as you pull off parts, I recommend uh, taking individual pictures so you just know how they're how they're put together. And so, if pieces come off of it when you're cleaning it, you know what goes where. Okay, still coming along here. Just uh, taking off the strainer right now. Okay, so now we just have the, just the drum shell. All the hardware is off of it. So I'll show you what to do next. So this is all the hardware here. I've sort of separated it into sort of categories. Here are the rims and the lugs. Uh, these are what the lugs go into. Just got three cans of different uh, nuts and bolts there. And then this is the strainer assembly. Okay, so for the next part of this, I thought I'd just go over what we're using to clean the hardware. So, um, this is kind of the stuff you should have. Some microfiber towels, uh, some just automotive or any sort of uh, polishing wax. Paper towel, I don't know, I think I'm gonna end up using this, we'll see. Coca-Cola, you don't necessarily need to have this much, but I, I'm just gonna drink what I don't use. Uh, some aluminum foil, and I don't know why this is in here. Oh yeah, you'll need a bucket too. Okay, so once you have your bucket ready, uh, you can just go ahead and start to pour some of the Coca-Cola in there. I'm just going to go ahead and do two to start out with. Oh, hey, so some of you guys might be wondering why we're using Coca-Cola. Well, Coca-Cola has phosphoric acid in it, and that's going to help to remove the rust. Okay, so now you can start to put your hardware in there. And actually, I'm going to just put a little bit of Coca-Cola in each one of these little tins as well. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking some of the aluminum foil. Whoops. Whoops. Oh, it's not coming out as good as this. Okay, here we go. Some aluminum foil and we're going to be using this to uh, sort of scrub off the rust from the hardware. Some of you might be thinking, oh, why not just use steel wool? Don't use steel wool. Steel wool will scratch the hardware because it's so coarse. You need something, um, this aluminum foil is not going to scratch the hardware. So then just dip the aluminum and see all this rust here? We're going to start scrubbing it off. Well, it's actually working better than I thought. 
That's actually coming off pretty easily. Okay, I've got uh, most of the hardware pieces done. Now it's time to move on to the actual drum here. Okay, now that I've got all these parts uh, polished off pretty good, I'm gonna go rinse off everything with water and then we'll move on from there. Well, I got everything rinsed off with water and now the next part will be drying it. Um, and just go ahead and start to dry off everything. I'm only using paper towel for this part. Um, later, I'm going to be using the microfiber towel to polish it. So this is what I'm using. Uh, this is just a turtle automotive wax. Um, yeah, hopefully it works okay. Uh, yeah, all right, it smells kind of strong. I think I'm going to open up the window. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot to mention too. So if you guys are gonna be some chemicals and stuff, make sure you're in a pretty well ventilated area so then you don't get hurt or anything. Okay, so I just dried off those pieces, and now um, I'm basically just going to start attaching hardware back onto the drum, and uh, then I will report back. Well guys, here's the final results. I think it looks awesome. I got probably 75% off the original rust off. Um, I just realized I don't have any heads for it right now. So tomorrow I'll go to Guitar Center, grab a couple heads, and then I'll play it for you guys.